USC 17, Oregon State 14. And if you were able to watch this, well, that means you have a weird cable plan, my friends. Because I could not get this one anywhere. I followed along on Twitter, just like everybody else. And then I had to go back and watch uh, replays and highlights. And I was able to follow along on the play-by-play to get an idea of what went on. And what went on here is that USC, again, was the benefactor of multiple turnovers. Uh, You look at the team stats here. Four turnovers, and it was four interceptions from Nolan. I mean, I <laughs> this is a guy that does not turn the football over. And yet they were able to get turnovers out of him. Like it, I don't understand it. 17 out of 29, 167 yards, and four interceptions. And, and it's not like Caleb Williams played well. 16 out of 36, one touchdown, 180 yards. Like, it, Travis Dye saved him with his running. 19 carries, 133 yards. Other than that, I mean, these team stats are crazy. Uh, 357 yards for USC, 320 for Oregon State. I expected not immaculate offenses, but really efficient offenses. Because I did not think either of these defenses was very good. And yet, both of the defenses showed up pretty well. And USC... I think they're plus 14 on the season in turnover margin with no giveaways. How long can this possibly continue? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, Third down efficiency. I mean, the USC, 9 out of 18, even with not great yardage, they were still able to be efficient. Two out of three on fourth down. Okay. Like, it's just weird. Like, everything about this was, was strange to me. Just, just strange, because I expected a lot more points. This was ten or seven to three at the half. It was seven to three heading into the fourth quarter. Yeah, somebody knows something, I guess. I, I don't know nothing about this. I cannot figure it out. Um, but when I mean, you look at the the win probability. I mean, it is just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The expected points is all over the place, and neither team played like particularly well. And yet, USC comes out with another win, uh, looking at who they have next. And this is why Fox or ESPN did not pick up this game. You get Arizona State next, which they'll win that game. Uh, Washington State after that, Utah, Arizona could be interesting, I guess. UCLA is later on down the line. Notre Dame. like Fox and ESPN want to be able to show USC as much as possible heading down the stretch because I, I, think, I think USC will be undefeated going to Utah. I mean, they get Washington State at home. They don't have to go to the Palouse. So that's that's certainly something. Um, just, just a weird game. I mean, they found a way to, as it says here, USC grinds out comeback victory. Like, it, Jordan Addison and Caleb Williams and, and Mario Williams, I mean, just all of them are fantastic. They're fantastic football players. You leave them in a game too long, they're going to find a way to come back. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.